It's, it's Kyle. Um, I hope your summer's been going well. I hope you guys have been keeping up with these videos. I hope you guys have enjoyed them. Uh, and I hope that you've been reading along through the Gospels uh, over the summer. And today we're going to be going through Luke 15 through 22. Uh, and we start out with Jesus teaching um, his disciples and the Pharisees uh, these three parables, excuse me, um, of three lost things. You have the lost sheep have the lost coin and you have a lost son um, and through various ways all three of these things have been lost but uh, we read more about when they're found and and how the the owners reacted we we read that the shepherd um, brought his one sheep back to the 99 and and went into town and celebrated and the same with the coin um, the woman celebrated with all of her family and then finally with the lost son the the father goes out and just is so happy is so joyful that his son has returned um, they throw this huge banquet for him they put a, a robe over his shoulders they put a ring on his finger um, and I pray that you would see um, just how God celebrates when we come back when we we're lost and um, we we are found by God that that when one of our brothers or sisters comes to know God that we um, throw this huge celebration that we um, just rejoice over someone coming back into the kingdom that that someone that God created has come back to his kingdom um, and as we read later on that his kingdom is made up of people that humble themselves, that um, you have the rich man and Lazarus, uh, not the one that rose from the dead because of Jesus, but another Lazarus. And you just read how um, that when the two men died, that Lazarus was the one who's with Jesus, the one who gets to have eternal life with God. And the rich man is spending eternity in hell um, and just how this contradicted everything that those people and the disciples knew about God's kingdom because they associated wealth with righteousness so if someone who's wealthy doesn't make it into heaven then who can because all of these guys are poor all of these guys have nothing um, so who then could make it into the kingdom? Um, but God is really just revealing uh, who he wants, um, what his requirements are for the kingdom. He wants uh, people to hum humble themselves before um, others and before God. That He wants servants. He wants people that are willing to put down their pride. Um, to come into his kingdom, to come to know God. And I pray that that would be us um, this year, um, that we would just humble ourselves before uh, our classmates, before our professors, before <clears throat> our roommates and our friends, <clears throat> and just be servants. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm losing my voice, but I pray that we would just uh, be in this, this spot of submission but yet still be happy. I think when and I think when we think of submission, we think of being under something and it sounds negative and it sounds um, limiting, but to be under God's kingdom, to be in God's kingdom is all we will ever need. It's all we will ever have, um, all we will ever want to have. And... Uh, that only comes through humbling ourselves and I, I pray that you would start to surrender things to God um, to ultimately surrender everything and I know surrendering everything sounds completely insane that um, we, we live in this world that tells us to take take our own life by the reins and that we're in control but we're not um, if, if, if we were in control we would um, we would crash our, our lives into the into the ditch and it would be nothing but yet we have our purpose made and our purpose found in God and 
And I hope that you um, just find peace in surrendering to God. And I pray that this week you would start with something, um, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your finances, whether it's just starting something new. God, uh, man, God wants to work through you. God wants to to work through your humbleness. Um, like with the with the ten minutes, he he's gonna give you something, and he wants you to to multiply it. And um, because if you can be trusted with something here on this earth, you can be trusted with so much more um, in his kingdom. And I pray that we would um, just know that everything that we have comes from God. Everything that we um, desire uh, is going to be fulfilled by God if we humble ourselves before him. Um, and it's going to be hard. It's going to be painful. Uh, we're, our pride's going to get in the way because we're sinful and we're we're humans. We make mistakes. We, but that's where grace comes in. Uh, that's where Jesus dying on the cross so that we could have this relationship with God uh, comes in, so that we can we can fall before God and and just exclaim that we are not worthy of the life that He's given us, but yet that He has entrusted it with us. Um, so I, yeah, would you just be filled with encouragement that God's got you whatever whatever you're in um, he he wants you to rely on him he's he's our father um, he wants to take care of you he wants to provide for you um, so would you just trust him with something today something this week um, just begin trusting him just begin learning that he is good and he is faithful and that he will provide what you need um, yeah, would you um, just be encouraged with that today um, and just tune back in next week. Um, I can't wait for you guys to be back on campus. Only five short weeks until all of us are back. And I, I pray that we would have a heart set on fire uh, for God and just serving his kingdom here on this campus. So, so would you just uh, go out this week, be joyful uh, when it, it seems like uh, all this world is telling us to be negative. Would you be joyful? Would you be content with what God has given you? Um, I just thank you for tuning in. Um, I just, I just love you guys. I hope you have a great week. See ya.